Hello, this is Mike Lively, and we're finished up with Chapter 1 of uh, Knowledge Space. We're entering into Chapter 2, which is convex uh, optimization. But before we do that, we need to just make a few more points, kind of wrap everything up. When you find a point in Knowledge Space, the probability of finding that point is practically zero. I mean, it's among a huge number of possibilities. So you want to mark that point or save that point. So we have the mechanisms to be able to do that in Adobe uh, Flash Builder. And here's a nice little multidimensional picture, and you've found some uh, song that you want to keep. And if you ever navigate away from it, you'll never be able to find it again. So what do you do? So uh, the good news is uh, Flash Builder is finally out. Uh, it's out of beta now, and it's in premium. And you can download that from the Adobe site, www.adobe.com. And what I've done is I've taken the synthesizer program that I wrote earlier, and I put a database on it so you can save wherever you're at. Now we're going to do a lot more with this. It's a nice example though. So here's Flash Builder and I'm going over here to the Package Explorer. Let's click on the program I created and let's run it. So you got a nice little program here and you can go ahead and hit play sound which will play the song in this uh, window right here. It's going to parse that from the keyboard. And you can stop it right there. Now here is a basically just a little uh, data grid which shows you everything that's in the database and I've actually put out a series of tutorials on YouTube on how to basically um, save and create all this database stuff so and you notice I've cl clicked on an item here two three four and those are actually appearing here in the create and play and the update so I have two sections to this particular program actually three one is an update section so you can update the database the other is a create and play section, and the other is basically allows you to surf through and look at the different entries in the database. And all of that has been documented on how to do that. Now, I'm going to say in Flash Build there's a glitch. I'm going to show you how to clean that glitch up and fix the problem. And we'll go over this in a little bit more detail, but let's just talk about the program. So here you can hit click play. Now, if I want to uh, surf to another point in Knowledge Base, I'm on actually uh, primary key 22 right here. And say I come along here and I type in a nice little song. And I want to save that, so I'm, I'm going to put nice song. That's my nice song. I want to save that. And we'll make that primary key 23. And we'll just hit create database. And create my data and surf down here. And there it is right here. You've just saved that point in knowledge space. Now, believe me, we're going to do a lot more with this. But at least you're interacting with the database, which is pretty cool. And then I can go to anything else. Or if I want to come back to that particular instance and play that, I can hit uh, play song. Pretty cool. Uh, but say I didn't like something, I want to update it, and let's say I didn't like the first part of that. So I can come along here to the update section, just start updating. Right, and I hit update table. Now I can get rid of those changes I want, so I'll go to revert changes, which takes the changes away, and I can start again. I'll update my table, and if I want to save those changes, we'll hit permanently save. So those changes are now permanently saved. You now see the changes in both the play and also in the update. And at that point, you can actually play the song. And let's play it. And of course, at any time, you can come along to the update and change the name. So let's change the name to uh, my new song up update. And we'll go ahead and perm we'll update the table, and we'll permanently uh, save that. And you can see over here in the table right here, there is my new song. And so we get rid of that. Now play it again. Same song. Okay, good. So everything here can be downloaded from the books blog at kshunter.wordpress.com. And I just want to make... Uh, a point about there's an issue with basically a glitch in Flash Builder. Let's go ahead and hit that glitch real quick. Uh, one of the problems I have, I come along here to design mode. Okay, let's go ahead and go into design mode. And I decide, hey, you know what, I, I've got a, I want to update function. So uh, the way to easily bring in these uh, data pieces to talk to this database, just go to project, excuse me, is go to data and go to generate form. And when you go to generate form, you get tons of options. And I can just click here and decide what I want. Well, I want to update data. So let's come along here and do that. Update data. I hit next and finish. 
And when I do that, it'll throw that code that I need right on the screen. And we've talked about this in other videos. Well, there's a problem here, and I'm going to show you what that problem is real quick. All right here with update data. If you try to update data, I'll click on that side and go to that button. Let's go to this source code. And we'll go to that handler. So in this handler right here, there's a problem. And that's this problem right here. So here's the problem right here is this update my result dot token. If you try to run this, you're going to get an error. And I don't know why this occurs. Uh, basically, um, this happened in uh, Flex 4 Beta 2, and they haven't gotten rid of it. And so basically, you just want to get rid of this line right here. And everything will work fine from there. So I'm going to get rid of that. Go ahead and uh, delete those changes. We don't even need this anymore. Let's get rid of this so we don't need this either. Okay, good. And we're back to original program. And so once you've done that, delete that one small line, your code will work fine, and you can save everything and update your database. And it only was with the update uh, function that was having problems. Uh, hopefully Adobe will come along and fix that. Besides that, the program runs fine. And go ahead and once again go to uh, kshunter.wordpress.com and download all this stuff. And I'll have the examples uh, running on the web as well. Next, we're going to move on to chapter two and talk about convex optimization. And you're going to, in chapter three, we're actually going to look at a hypercompression algorithm, which will enable you to get 101 compression over your uh, present image compression on the web right now. Okay, thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. Uh, have a nice day.